Hey guys, Chrono16 here. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to go outside and spot Comet Ison while it's still in the morning skies. And also, once it gets into the uh, late afternoon or early evening skies, how you can see Comet Ison as it heads inbound towards our sun. Now, what we have on screen here is, again, the program called Stellarium. There's a link under this video on how to get this program for free. Just simply download it for free. Okay? Very simple program to use. Now, we have it set. Now, this is the date that I'm recording this video, by the way. We have it set to the current time, which is 4.25 a.m. in the early morning. Okay? And, and I mean, I can go back an hour, but it'll obviously put ice in a little bit lower in the sky so let's go ahead and go to about 5 let's go ahead and go to about 5 a.m. and that'll be 6 a.m. Eastern Time uh, 5 a.m. Central and 4 a.m. Mountain and uh, 3 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time and what I have turned on here is I have the constellations and everything turned on now let's say you just downloaded this program and you don't know how to use it okay uh, what you want to do is, is you want to go over here to the menu area and you want to click on the configuration window okay once you click on the configuration window right here that little symbol right there you click on programs now once you first download this if I'm not mistaken Ison, uh, I could be mistaken about this is not programmed into this program so what you want to do is you want to go over to this little configuration that's lit up there and usually when you get here it looks like this okay you, what you want to do is you want to go over and go to plugins and click on solar system editor okay just like that and then you click on configure down here once you click on conf configure what you want to do guys is you want to uh, import some objects so how do you do that you go down here and click on import orbital elements in MPC format you click that guys okay and it'll take you to this screen right here now once you go to this screen I've already had ISIN selected here um, but we're gonna assume that ISIN is not in here what you normally do is you click in uh, C-2012 S1 ISIN it'll find it once you find it on the list you click click it right there and highlight it put the check right there and what you want to do is, is you want to add object now if you've already gotten ISIN added this is how you update the information for ISIN you simply click on it again and add object and it updates it to the most current position that they have on it now um, everything that they calculate in the in the skies guys always has to be corrected because of human error so if it updates ISIN's position is only because of human error has been involved and nothing more nothing suspicious or strange about, about that at all that happens all the time once you do all that guys you get out of your screen and there's your current position of ISIN now let's say you're trying to look at ISIN with a telescope and you want to and you have a handheld computer that's connected to your telescope which most of them usually come with nowadays uh, you simply type in the coordinates of ISIN and uh, there are several ways to do this guys one way you can do it is what I'm fixing to do here now is I'm fixing to take you to this website I've taken you here before in other previous videos the skylive.com okay once you calibrate your telescope once you calibrate it guys you go here this is the position of ISIN you type these numbers in and uh, hit enter on your handheld telescope uh, computer there and it'll take you to the exact location of ISIN wherever it may be in the sky once you do that okay alright it's that simple that is if you have a go-to telescope with a connected handheld computer to it now as of right now as me as of me recording this video ISIN is not visible with a pair of, of binoculars you can you can see it with a, a good telescope right now uh, ISIN is not as bright as they forecasted it to be unfortunately but again that's the way it is now as we go further into November 
as we go further into November, there we go. I hate when this happens. Sometimes this program, there we go, it gets a little stuck there. We go further into November.